Why use a network? This is quite simple. We use network for communication between computers, sharing of data and peripheral. In the business world, we use network for ease of administration and to cut costs. Now, how is this done? Just imagine this scenario. Sharing data example, imagine an office with five secretaries working on five different computers. One requires a file from another computer in a non-network office. This file would have to be written to a portable media. Portable media in this sense, we are talking of a flash drive, a diskette, a CD, or an external hard drive. Then loaded onto the computer. In a network office, the file could be accessed via shared folder. Simple as that. Now, fixes said work done equals force times distance. That's what fixes said. The force you use multiply with the distance travel equals work done, which means you have worked. But in IT, in networking, in technology aspects, work done equals brain. In other words, brain work can sit down. Just sit down, think, and you do something. That is all about networking here, which we just explained. You can just sit in your office and the five secretary shared what their files, their shared folder on the network. Rather than walking around, rather than doing the old method of work done that physics said, we are going to use what? Networking work done. Now, let's see how. Let's see another reason why we need a network. It's to cut costs, of course. This first reason is to ease, is the ease of administration. Sharing peripherals, example, the same office with five secretary working on five different computers. In order to print their, their work, each computer would need to have a printer attached. In the network office, you could have one shared printer. In other words, you are cutting costs. In networking environment, you can also have 10 printers. A convo have sorry, 10 computer system, one printer. But it's recommended that the printer is a network printer. In other words, the printer must have a LAN port where you can connect it to the network. Even if this printer does not have a LAN port, you can also work, share the printer. I will give you other videos on how you can share a network printer. Now that we have seen all these things, what do we need in order to what set up a network? A common language or protocol. Protocol in this sense, we are talking of TCP, IP, IPX, SPX, Apple Talk, but in this series, I'm not going to cover IPX, SPX, or Apple Talk. We are going to base on TCP, IP because that is what Microsoft is interested in. That is the core technology of the internet which you are using right now. A common language or protocol is a convention or standard that controls or enables the communication, connection, and data transfer between two computing endpoints. Now, since we need also we need cabling, BNC, CAT5, fiber optic. Now, all these things might be strange to you, but don't worry. In future video, they are going to be as clear as a crystal. We also need the network NIC as its network interface card, router, switches, hub, modem, wireless access points, also known as WAP, and what network services such as DNS, WINS, and GSCP, dynamic host configuration protocol. All these are the things we need when we want to set up our network. 
networking hardware in the next video I'm going to continue from this networking hardware I'm going to give you an overview also of what we are going to cover in terms of networking hardware so thank you for watching my video subscribe to my channel like video dislike video drop comments ask me question if I can answer them of course I will and of course do not forget to subscribe thank you see you in the next video